What's up guys, in this video we're going to show you all these Lumians, how to get them, what level they evolve, and everything you need to know about the Lumians that you can get at this point. But what I want to do is I want to show you here in the Lumiapedia, some of you guys don't know exactly what level these evolve, how to get some of these, so I want to go over each of these and talk a little bit about how to get them. So, so we know here in Midas Town, when we started off the game, we came here to the Lumian Laboratory and we were able to get one of these for free. Now you can get some of those from trades as well, if somebody's willing to trade those over to you. I also, some guy, times guys, do live streams and I have some of these to give away. I will spend 50 Robux to get a bunch of these and give away to you guys during streams, so make sure you're subscribed and you've got the notification bell on. Otherwise, if you want to get any of these other starters, you have to be here at the laboratory and this guy right here, you talk to him and you can purchase another Lumion for 50 Robux. So we'll kind of show you how to do that. It'll show all these, they'll pop up there. And uh, these all, we're going to go over them kind of all at the same time because they all evolve at the same stages so in order and and basically you get them all the exact same way so you have to go and you buy it it's 50 robux so let me just do a little sample transaction I'm gonna end up giving this away to you guys during live stream anyways I don't like to nickname him but then after that he will be transferred into your Lumion your Lumicare uh, deck okay so that is how you get all of these first ones right here now each of these evolve at a certain level so for example the embit turns into a rabern at level 18 and all of these turn into their first evolution once they hit level 18 so as you can see that embit turned into the rabern the dripple turns into a reptide right here feevine turns into a felver eaglet turns into or a torprey vambat turns into a dimpire and snow cub turns into snoky oh and the last one we've got the stozap which evolves from the weevolt at level 18 so that is level 18 that is just the first evolution all these starters have a second evolution at number 34 so once you get them to level 34 which you get by doing you just go and battle and you get more and more experience you can get more experience if you use a booster uh, but level 34 is when these guys evolve so the rabern turns into the seer knight the reptide turns into the luminami at level 34 the felver turns into the Ta tab torprey turns here into the valkyrie empire turns into a vesperatu snoky turns into a himber and stozap turns into zoo long and another thing you guys are going to notice here in these starters after they turn into their second evolution they are two types basically they they start carrying another type of move so you get to learn a new move so the zoo long after it's a stow zap it's just electric but after it becomes a zoo long it's electric and ancient so it's got two different types seer knight gets the metal added on to him let's see the luminami becomes uh gets some light powers to it uh the ta tab gets some brawler attributes Valkyrie adds metal moves, Vesperatu adds spirit, Himber adds earth moves, and Zulong gets ancient moves. Okay, so those are just the starters, and that is what you can get over there in the laboratory. So there's other ones that we find just in the wild. We're going to go over the ones that we have actually uh, seen. Uh, there's some that we, we can't really go too many details into, because like this one right here, the slugling. Uh, there was one of those trainers that had a slugling that we battled, but we haven't seen a slugling in the wild. Same thing with the other one, the uh, ka Kabuka, uh, the, this one, this thing right here, the Kabunga. So that one was when you battled against your mom for the very first battle you saw that but it's kind of far there it's number 107 so i'm guessing this isn't something that we're going to encounter anytime soon it's probably going to be in a much later update of the game i'm thinking though route four is where we're going to en end up running into a slugling so other than those th those are the only two on here that we've encountered or observed yeah but those two are the ones that you can't get yet so the first one that we're going to talk about here is the twilot so this one is probably one of the first ones that you're going to encounter it's very common and it's one that you encounter in in route one so we're going to show you here where route one is you go through midas town you go over this bridge and then boom you've got this right here so in the wild here in route one is where you can find the twilots now the twilots are pretty cool they've kind of got a special ability here's another one a cathorn that we're going to talk about so that is the twilot he is a typeless he's pretty small not super powerful but one thing is, that is really cool about the twilot is it has special evolutions if you evolve it at night time okay so we're going to tell you how to get these we made a video special just how to get these but see how it's nighttime there's a night and day cycle so when the twilot hits level 22 just remember 22 is the level at which it evolves it's number 22 on here so 
when it hits level 22, make sure you either have a day or night, whatever you're trying to do. If you evolve one during the day, then try to get another one and evolve it during the night because that is what is going to help you get these next two. The Umbrat, this is when it evolves at night. So if you get the Tweelot to level 22 at night, you end up getting this Umbrat and it is a dark type. We don't know if it's going to evolve any further uh, past level 40, but at this point we don't know yet. Uh, this next one, if you evolve the Tweelot during the day, then it's a Luxor, which is the Daylight Mouse Lumine. I don't know where the picture is there. For some reason it's not there. Uh, but yeah, this one is a light type. So we got a light type and a dark type, and those are both the evolution of the Tweelot. For some reason the picture of the Luxor is not there. So another one, the next one that you're going to run into here really commonly in Route 1, so how you get this one is in Route 1, is the Cathorn. So the Cathorn right here is an interesting one. It's a bug type. Now this bug type, again, like the other things you're going to find here in Route 1, it's not super strong, but it does have some evolutions. So this Cathorn at level 8, only level 8, you just have to get it up to level 8, not very far. So pretty quickly, you can get the Cathorn to evolve into what is called a Prope, or Prope. Prope, I don't know, we're still not seeing that one right here, uh, but this one's pretty easy to come across. Level 8 once the Cathorn is evolved. Now, the Prope, once that one evolves, will turn into a Cynomoth, or Cynomoth, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, uh, but yeah, this is level 16. So the Prope, once it gets to level 16, will evolve into the Cynomoth, and again, it's a second evolution, so we're picking up a new type. We go from just a bug to a bug and an air type, so it's definitely worthwhile, but it's still kind of small pretty small weight pretty small size but it's a bug you would you would think that bugs are going to be small anyways okay so the next one the twiddle this is one that you can run into in route one you can also run into it in various other places i've seen them in route three and i think we see them in the gale forest as well so these ones are pretty common pretty easy to find and you'll you'll just find them all over the place this one is also another cool one because it's got two evolutions as well it just starts out as an air type and it's pretty small but the first evolution right here is the paratweet which it evolves to at level 16 so as soon as it hits level 16 it evolves into a paratweet some of these pictures just aren't here i'm gonna go i've got some of these also in my in my uh in my inventory and i could probably show you those but the paratweet also evolves at level 32 to this one which was an avatross weird thing though this one doesn't have an extra it doesn't gain an extra type ability or move in here it's still just an air type at the second evolution and that's level 32 so you have to do quite a bit of training to get this one to level up 32 that's pretty high for the evolution stage so that is that one right there this next one right here is a piter so this one uh the piter you can see the picture of it right there and this one is found in i think i've only found these in the gale forest of course to get to the gale forest you just go into chespa town you just go straight to the back and then the forest is back here so here in the gale forest is where you're going to find a lot of these ones that we're going to talk about next so yeah uh the one we were talking about here is the piter it is bug and toxic so it starts off right away it's got two move types uh, available to it of course the piter once you train that one enough to get past level 22 at level 22 just like the tweelot this one evolves into a Swolder, a much bigger, more dangerous Lumion right here. I think it looks a lot cooler too. It's got a lot of extra eyes and it's a bit bigger in size. So yeah, that's level 22 is how the Piter evolves into the Swolder. The next one right here is the Ansi. I haven't seen, like, so this one I find in the Gale Forest, but I don't see it a lot. You know, I, I really haven't run into this one a whole lot, but when you do catch this one, it's pretty cool. When it evolves, it kind of has its own sort of, uh, it kind of changes color every time you see it. This one itself is a plant and a bug type, so it's not going to be very strong against like fire or anything, but it'll do just fine against water types. But this one right here also evolves. So just like some of the other ones, the Piter and the Tweelot, this one evolves into something when it gets to level 22 called a Florant. Uh, so it's it, the, you'll see sometimes like the the back of this, like the, it'll have different colors when you look at it sometimes. So that's very interesting. Still just a bug and a plant type. And uh, this one's probably a useful one to have in your uh, in your inventory there as well. Uh, the next one, another one that you run into a lot here in the Gale Forest here is a Grubby. A Grubby is just a bug type. He's got some pretty cool looking eyes, but I don't know, still kind of freaks me out a little bit. 
He kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies even more than the spider. Anyways, the grubby has a couple of evolutions that we can see uh, at level 10. So just at level 10 for this one, you get him to evolve into what is called a Cunucopia, which is, let's find that one right here, number 37. A Cunucopia, I don't know, it looks like one of those uh, Thanksgiving things. I don't know, it's a really weird looking uh, looking creature, but it's still, still a bug type and it's got some stingers disguised as fruit. So apparently this guy is pretty tough and uh, pretty sneaky as well. But anyways, once you use this guy and you level him up and get him enough experience points to level 18, just level 18, that's as far as you have to get them, and then he's going to evolve to a Terrafly, which is also very terrifying, and also Bug and Toxic. It adds another move type to it, so it's a Bug and Toxic, and that is the evolution at level 18. Now this next guy over here, the Kleptic, you don't run into him as often. I find him a lot in uh, Route 3, so Route 3 is a great place to go and search for the Kleptics if you're looking for him. He seems to like rummaging through garbage bins and taking things from people, but he is a dark type. Now, he will evolve at level 24. I think he's the one, only one so far I see that evolves at level 24, but once he evolves, he turns into a Ragoon, which is a thief Lumion. He's pretty short, pretty lightweight, so he's still pretty small, but he's also very sneaky and will steal items from people if they're holding items. Uh, so this is kind of one that will be pretty useful in battle, but still only a dark type. Who knows if he evolves further, but uh, of, of course, at least to level 40, he doesn't evolve. We can't get any of these up to past level 40 here in the first update. After we get an update and the other uh, areas are open, we're going to be able to ex get more experience points. Uh, so this next one here, the Babor, also found often in Route 3. This is the Earth type. And so Route 3 would be the place to find him. Uh, he doesn't show up as often as maybe like the Twiddles or the Gecklos. We're going to go over those guys as well. Uh, but yeah, you can find him in Route 3 as well. He is the Hog Lumion. Now, he looks a little strange to me with just the two feet. It just seems kind of weird looking. Seems like basically it's it, it was a, a pig that was like cut in half. And then basically it's just got his front legs. I don't know, it's really weird. But anyways, if you can get him to level 28, you have to evolve him at level 28. Then he seems to get his legs back. He's got four legs. He's fully grown. He's got armor. He's really tough. This thing is a Borok, uh, and it's still an Earth type. So this guy's a lot tougher than the other one. So level 28 is where this guy evolves into the next one. All right, so the last but not least here is the Gecklo. Oh, the picture doesn't show up for that guy either. He just looks like a weird... Oh, there we go. He's loading in. So this one is electric and light. It's already got two types. So it is pretty valuable. It's like having a Weevil and an Eaglet in one. Uh, also, if anybody tries to shoot an electric thing at him, it actually powers him up. So if someone has a Weevil and they're going up against a Gecklo, they're not going to be very successful. But a Dripple is going to take him down pretty fast. Anyways, this guy, so far, has not evolved. I've gotten mine to level 40 and it has not evolved yet. So at this point, we're not sure what this one evolves into. And if it does evolve, it's going to be at least past level 40. And maybe there's a special sort of stone you got to use to evolve that one. But this one is also found in Route 3. And you can find it all the time in Route 3. It's super duper easy to find that one. So these are all the Lumians that we have available so far. And those are the details. And those are that uh, the points and the levels in which they level up and evolve to the next. Uh, this one right here, number 25 really curious uh some people are thinking maybe it's an evolution of the uh of the umbrat or the luxor or maybe it's a dusk or different time ev evolution of the twilot but we have not seen that and of course oh my gosh we forgot to talk about this one right here the dusket how do you get the dusket this one's super rare we're kind of saying that this is comparable to what a legendary was when pokemon brick bronze this is a spirit and a mind. Now, after you go through the campaign and you, you defeat the Dusket in the wild, there's a corrupted Dusket, you have to beat him, and then you get a shard, and then he goes away. Then you can find him in the wild, and you can find him just about anywhere. Where You can find him um, in the Gale Forest, you can find him in Route 1, in Route 3. Thing is, he's rare. You only come across him like one in a thousand, I believe. So, in order to get those, then you have to make sure that you're looking and looking and looking. I think I found all of mine in route three but yeah it takes a while and i also had to use a lot of boosters in order to do that these boosters the roaming corrupt that is the one that will actually help you to find that one a little bit easier now there's the gleaming ones so people are wondering how do you get the gleam
gleamings well the gleamings are kind of rare see this dust get right here see how it's got all those particles and everything around it well the gleaming i think are you find those i think those are like one in a thousand as well or maybe even less than that but still those are just something that you encounter randomly you can get a gleaming any of these type that we showed here any of these type here you can find gleaming and it will have all the sparkles around it and it'll have a totally different color those are rare and you want to try to keep those so uh that is how you get every single one of these lumians that is the level that they evolve and that is how you get the gleanings and the dust kits as well so guys i hope this has been helpful for you if you're new here would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell that would be really awesome we're going to do some pvp battles when that update comes out so come and join in on those and of course we like to give you guys some of these free starters during live streams as well so thank you so much for watching we will talk to you guys later